We left off talking about the coefficients, and as I mentioned, people get a little confused because the coefficients can mean a little different things with different topics that you choose here. Actually, a way to explain this better is like this. Let's go up to allergies, for example. So let's say that 0 0.000, 000 would be the perfect analysis. And the closer the coefficient is to zero, the closer it is to saying that this is exactly the problem 100%. In this case, I click on this metal, which is 0 0.106. If it was 0 0.000, then it would be the metal that is allergic 100%. This person is 100% allergic to this metal. You are very rarely going to see that. But the closer the number is to zero, the closer it is to being the 100% analysis. In other words, if I click on a disease, I know that a normal coefficient for an adult would be 0 0.1 or 1 1.2. And the disease of the adult or the sickness would be 0 0.000. And so the closer this number is to 0, the closer it is to being the exact disease that is written out here. So in everything that we look at in these topics, except for the pathomorphology, because as I mentioned, the pathomorphology and the microorganisms, they have a normal. You know, their normal is 1.2. Everything else here, you know, the allopathic medicines, the allergies, everything else here we compare to 0 0.000. The closer the number is to 0, the better it is, or the closer it is to being the perfect analysis. Let me give you just a couple more examples so we're not confused or if you are you're welcome to call me and talk to me about this but let me just try to explain. This is a good one. So you see that the coefficient here is 0 0.002 that is pretty much 0 0.00 and I clicked on allopathy so these are all allopathic medicines available. Some of them are from Russia, some of them are from Germany, Netherlands, they're all from different places. But this one, according to the software, is the best and the most suitable for my client because the frequency matches it al almost 100%. And that's what the coefficient is, is a representation of the frequency. So what it's saying is the frequency of this medicine is almost 100% identical to helping or to being suitable for my patient. When I click on allergens, I see that the lowest one here is 0 0.106. So anything below 0 0.5, I would pay close, close attention to. Because very rarely are you ever going to get something that's 100% good for you. But the closer it is to the zero, the better it is for your patient. When it comes to things like, uh, for example, let's check here on fears. Okay, these are emotional issues. When it comes to fears, and we click on them, we see the coefficient here, 0 0.616, which is getting closer and closer to zero, and it says crying. So what that would mean is that the probability of the person here sitting and having emotional issues and crying is very close to zero. It may not be identical, but it's close. So when I ask my patient in front of me, she may say, yeah, I cry from time to time, or I do have some fear of others, or whatever it may be. But the coefficient 
the closer it is to zero, the more probable it is. Let's talk about the meta therapy here. It's called meta correction in this program. Click on the meta therapy and you will get the picture of the organ. Then you can place this green point anywhere you like and you click on start. You want to run meta therapy about mm, five or six times for each organ and no more than five organs. Once you do a meta therapy it'll be here in the list. So this is the original one, this is the meta therapy one. So you have to go back, click on meta therapy again, and that will be your second time. And while you're doing this, you're sort of keeping track of what, how it's affecting or what the effects are. So click on start again, and you can see that some of the symbols are changing. And the, ser the more serious the problem, the slower the um, changes are going to happen. So we'll run this about five times. But for the sake of time, I just ran it twice. And let me show you the difference. When you click on the Analysis Plus button, you can see the difference with the Meta Therapy and the original one. So the number one would be the original. The Meta Therapy is the organ or the tissue after you run the therapy. And this is running the therapy only twice. So if you ran it more, it would have had a better reaction. And you see that it's strengthening by 19%. So the meta therapy shown and proved to be very effective. And this is a great way to show your client and your patient that it does work, that this is how the meta therapy is working and that's how strong it is. The other thing that I want to show you is the aura. And when we look at the aura, you see that all, everywhere where there are dents and, um, and different parts and it just looks really where all the pink areas are, that's showing where all of the problems are. And in this case, all the problems are in the lower body, intestine, um, probably some, some general area of the reprodu reproductive system. That's what it looks like. The way to correct the aura is by doing, if we get a test on the person's whole body. The way I would do this is I'd go to research and find where it says the body of a woman. So I'll, oops, let me go back. Let's uncheck everything first. So we uncheck everything and check the body of a woman. Click on research. We're going to let that scan first and once it's done scanning we are going to check it up and do a Vegeta test. Oops, I'm sorry, a meta correction on the whole body. And I will do that about two times. Okay, after this, I can go back and check and see if the aura had improved any. And look at that. You see how much the aura has improved. And before this, it just looked horrendous. So again, you see how impactful and how powerful the meta correction is. Okay, the other thing um, that I want to mention is when we 
when we have an organ, let's go here for 